Hello all, welcome to Sivan's SA PhD training in association with the AMB IT Services and Technologies. In this session, I would like to explain about the sales orders reports. The reports which we use on regular basis and how we are going to use them and then what are all the advantages of these particular sales orders reports. So this will be like a theory part, more of theory part with the screenshots so that you will be able to try of your own whenever you are trying it, how to check them and how to see them and how to process them. Whatever may be the like list of sales orders, back orders, incomplete orders and so on. So there are important sales orders report as an SD consultant we must know. So let us see. List of sales orders. We all are familiar about the transaction code VA05 or VA05N where we can see the list of sales orders, whether it is open or closed or completed, all those orders can be seen using the transaction code VA05N by inputting them in the, in the transaction code, like sold to party or the sales document type, or even with respect to the material or with respect to the sales area, whatever may be the input selection criteria we choose, Accordingly, the output selection criteria will be displayed in the screen. So this is one of the important uh, sales orders report, list of sales orders. So we can see the output like this. So even we can see the sigma value also, and we can change the layout of this particular report as per the convenience. So this is one of the important report. The another one is incomplete sales orders like uh, the order may be incomplete because of the inco terms or because of the shipping point not maintained or because of the customer group which we have made it as a mandatory and then those details are showing in this particular report when you execute the transaction code v.02 with respect to your sales area so you can choose all those things like whether it is a general related information or delivery related information or billing document related information or price determination. All those incomplete SD documents will be displayed on the screen. So you can reprocess them or you can modify them. So that means you can complete those sales orders by clicking on that particular sales document itself. So here we can select the, the document and then we can double click on it. And then we can do the edit in completion log then and there by using the edit in completion option and then save it so that that particular order will be removed from this report. This is one of the important uh, incomplete SD documents report V.02. The third one is like back orders, like that means V.15 or V, R, v underscore RE, the back orders report. Here we can reallocate the product or the uh, material, whatever the materials are there, to the other customer from one customer to another customer so by using the transaction code v underscore re so you can you can see the uh, report like what are all the orders are available which we can allocate to the other persons other customer suppose they are the uh, a class customers and then that order has been already allocated to the a normal customer who plays uh, after the pay due, payment due date so we can reallocate them those orders to the uh, high value customers. So by using the transaction code V underscore RA so that we can see the, the list of sales orders. So based on this list of sales orders, we can double click on it and then we can see them. So what is the quantity and then the requested quantity by the other customer. So those customers, we can execute this report and then we can allocate them. So this uh, report is very much useful even in during the availability check process also. Block good orders. This is one of the important report. So why the order got blocked? To list out the details of orders or contracts which are blocked for delivery. So why it is blocked for delivery? Maybe uh, some other reason by, by like uh, the rejection reason or whatever may be the reasons where, why that particular order got blocked. So we can see them in the list. Maybe because of the credit limits also sometimes it gets blocked. So those blocks can be released by seeing this report, then and there we can see them and then based on the requirement. So we can 
remove that block and then we can proceed further so these reports normally the these reports will be executed by the end users or business users and then they will see the scope of availability of the orders and then is there any order is incomplete they will complete it if it is required for the particular customer or otherwise they will park it as it is in real time however as an sd consultants we must also know that these are all the reports are already there we already know this but only thing is we have to try once in the system so when we try executing the system in the practice system or in the r and d system so there you will come to know okay these are the reports and this report is useful for this purpose so that you will we will be having one idea on your mind and then you can proceed with the confidence so that means you will get you will gain more knowledge on this particular processes so this is the output so we can see why it got blocked maybe if you double click on this particular line item so display document so it will tell that it is because of the credit limits got exceeded so that is why it is blocked so that means we have to release the credit block to process that particular sales order so this is about the blocked all orders the, the fifth one is orders within the time period the transaction code is sd01 it is not sd01 it is sd01 here the business requirement is to track sales orders by time period that is within the date range with respect to the sales document type and created on from one, from when to when in between and also one more beautiful feature is there with this particular report we can we, we can do the mass changes to the existing sales orders whatever have been reported in this transaction code that means for example the replacement of plant or pricing determination and so on so many things we can do mass changes at a time all those orders which are available in the system so this is the input selection criteria and then the output would be like this and here you can choose the sales document and that should be uh, replaced with any plants or any pricing information is not quite uh, correct so those details we can correct it by using the this particular transaction code sd01 the sixth one is duplicate sales orders by period why it is required to see the duplicacy so that means like uh, the, the same user might have created multiple orders with same material maybe the different different quantity sometimes or maybe the same quantity and the same pricing so that is our discretion that is the user's discretion or business user's discretion that whether to continue with the same orders to keep them in the system or which is not required one order you have processed then the remaining orders you wanted to uh, remove them or reject them we cannot remove or you cannot delete the orders unless and until we have the archival process in place so we can remove them or we can we can reject those orders and then accordingly we can complete the duplicacy from uh, that means we can uh, clean the duplicacy orders duplicity orders in the system by using the transaction code sd d1 so here so the, we can see here the uh, orders like uh, 2116 and 21137 and 21136 which is with 5000 inr and 1 rupee so maybe it is created with the same user at a similar way the below orders also any one of them if at all you wanted to do the check the uh, comparison so we can use this option and then it will become red and if you require this order to be there in the system yes you can continue or otherwise you can reject any one of the orders or all these five orders which are not required for you to be there in the system all those orders we can reject them so that it will the duplicates will be removed from the system that means we are, we are rejecting them so it anyhow it will be there in the system those orders will not be shown in this particular report sd d1 so this is these are all the things which are very very important uh, 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 reports is sales orders reports and hence it will be very much useful for us to uh, know more about this information why i am saying that uh, part 1 this one the, in the part 2 i am going to explain 
the incomplete orders and the, and the list of inquiries and list of quotations and list of sales orders all those things one by one we will be discussing in my upcoming videos thank you all have a nice day